Well, good morning, good morning, uh, everyone who um, is watching this video right now. May the Lord bless you this morning with His grace and His strength, because this is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice in Him. Um, my family and I are missing you all dearly. And I know that you are missing us as well. I know that, we know that. And as your pastor, um, I want to um, encourage you. I want to love you and I want to care well for you. And I want you to know that if there is anything uh, my wife and I can help you with, just let us know. Don't hesitate. Call us and let us know of any need you, you have, and we will be there for you. In the meantime, um, we, we, are, we have you in our heart and our mind, and uh, we just wanted to, to let you know that how much we love you, how much we love you. Even though we cannot get together um, to form the body of Christ and where Jesus is the head, but um, we are the temple of God and that that means that God is with you where you are and God is with with us here also in the Rogers Park where we are all right God bless you God bless you this morning um, I, I heard a sermon this morning of one of my favorite uh, preachers Dr. David Jeremiah look and you can check it out as well uh, when you have the time and listen to him. He is a great expository of the of the word of God. So um, I was blessed to hear um, his sermon this morning, and he said something very very uh, uh, interesting that that kept my that kept my attention. He said we are uh, physical separated, but we can get closer together spiritually. And he said, um, these days, one thing that we can do is to consen consecrate, consecrate our time into prayer. Consecrate our time into prayer. By praying for one another. You pray for me and I pray for you. It's the best thing that we can, we can do during these days. Right? Otherwise, other things will occupy us. Worry will occupy us. Concern will, concern will occupy us. And we will not pray. So don't let that happen with you. Let's get together in one spirit as we bow our knee and pray unto God. And saying that, I read a passage this morning that I want to encourage you um, as well with the passage in 2 Chronicles 20, uh, starting at verse 5 to verse 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse from, from verse 5 to verse 12. It was the time of the people of Israel. Jehoshaphat was the leader of the people of Israel, leading the, lead, leading the people of Israel as God was um, um, uh, guiding him. So the news came to Jehoshaphat that there, there were three different armies who put heads together to attack the people of Israel. So they were confronting a difficult, difficult um, time uh, back then in the in the Old Testament and listen to what Jehoshaphat did starting in just verse 5 then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in the front of the new courtyard and said and this was his prayer Lord the God of our ancestors are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the king kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. Our God, did you not drive out the, out the inhabitants 
of this land before your peoples Israel and give it forever to the descendant of Abraham your friend? They have lived in the land and have built in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, If calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine, and listen to this, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you in our distress. And you will hear us and save us. This man had a confidence in the Lord. He put his trust in the Lord. And I want you to notice that he wasn't afraid. He wasn't afraid. He went directly to the Lord. So fear wasn't in control here, but the Spirit of God was in control. He allows the Spirit to lead him into the presence of God. And verse 10, he continues, But now here are men from Ammon, so enemies, Moab and Mount Seir, whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and didn't destroy them. So how they are, how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the position you gave us as an inheritance? Our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. So he went to God and he was helpless. He didn't know what to do. <clears throat> and listen to how he asked God, our God, will you judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. And I will change the word army here. Okay? Our God, will you not judge them? Will you not judge the coronavirus? For we have no power to face this vast coronavirus that is attacking us. We do not know what to do. But our eyes are on you. He confessed and he, recognized, he acknowledged that, Lord, I want to give this to you because we cannot handle it. It's too vast. It's too much for us. And I know that in, it, it, this coronavirus thing is too much for us. Many people are dying. And especially people of... Of, uh, of your age, 60 plus. And sometimes you don't know what to do. Shall I go out or shall I in, go stay in the house? Shall I go to the dining room? Shall I do this? Shall I, shall I go to my neighbor? Shall I talk to my friend? It, it, it brings a lot of anxiety in our lives and sometimes we do not know what to do. For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And that's my encouragement for you. To let your eyes be on the Lord. And not on the coronavirus, but on the Lord. Asking the Lord, Lord, help me. Lord, help me because I cannot, I cannot, I cannot fight this battle. Lord, this battle is yours. You fight it for me, Lord. And that's every day. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. The American gospel singer Andrew Crouch say this song. And I'm gonna just read the, some of the, the lyrics for you. He said, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, 
I've learned to depend upon His Word. And I want you to depend upon the Word of God. That's all we can do in this season. Let me pray for us. Father God, thank you for this time. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for your presence with us, Father. Thank you that you are with us. You promise us, Father. Jesus promised us that he will, with us, he will be with us to the end of the earth. And Father, thank you for being with us. Thank you for your protection upon our people there in the breakers, Father. We ask you to, to guard them, Father, to protect them, Lord. And give them peace, Father. Take away anxiety. Take away concern, Father. And help them, Father, to navigate through this, Father, with freedom and peace and tranquility, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you.